All right, guys, so we are out here at Frederick Howard Park out in Tarpon Springs to do a little saltwater fishing. I just kind of wanted to go over if you're having, if you're struggling to catch stuff in saltwater, like it's your first time or something along those lines, I'm going to show you a couple different things that can really help you catch fish. Like if you're a bass fisherman like me, pick yourself up one of these 3 8 ounce hair jigs. All right, it emulates a lot of bait fish out here. For a more simpler setup, just to catch whatever fish you can, all right? The rig that we found has been catching us fish while we're out here. This is called a Pompano rig. And funny enough, it is kind of just like, it's kind of just like a drop shot. All right, so I have a drop shot rigged up here, right? You got your little weight. And then your hook about 10 inches up all right and my wife Caroline has actually caught a couple fish just on that now if you're looking for a little more beefy all right with the heavier currents um, this is a three ounce triangle weight but as you can see it's pretty much just a modified drop shot uh, of course with a much greater this is probably about two feet of leader uh, with the, the first rigging to be about six inches second one about 18 inches um but this has actually been doing me quite well I, i've caught a lot of fish and for bait you know just as a beginner stuff this uh easy shrimp strips from fish bites works really good uh in fact uh and these are circle hooks for these shrimp bites you just cut a little square and as you can see there is a mesh material within them that keeps it on your hook and uh like I said, we're going to go out here um, off this peninsula and see if we can't catch a few fish for you guys. Show you how all this works. Alright guys, so you just take a little square just like that. We're going to replace that meshy one that was at the top. And like I said, what I like about this stuff is there's some fancy stuff you can do with it. Like letting it soak and all that kind of stuff. But... They say for best use, you know, just just use it dry. So, like I said, we're gonna go out here and cast, see what we can catch. So I think the hardest thing for me guys about saltwater fishing is being a bass fisherman. When you feel a bite, you automatically like pretty much set the hook. With this, you know, you feel bites, you don't really set the hook. You kind of just let them hook themselves. So it's like really hard for me to fight that instinct to, you know, just not pull back. It's, uh, it's actually quite hilarious. I, I still catch myself sometimes just trying to set the hook and then I lose the fish. So, oh, a couple more little ticks. Look at this girl, guys. Is she not a Floridian or what? She doesn't even fish standing up anymore. As long as it's not in the water. Oh, that might be what it is. It might be crabs. What? It might be crabs. Oh, wait, no. There we go. Oh, you got one. Got a little brim. That's brim. Yeah, crappie are like white. All right, guys. So, 
Like I said, it's basically just a drop shot. Can you hold that, sweetie? Like I said, just basically a drop shot. Ooh, put your dorsal fin down, my friend. See? These guys like get it in their mouth. And they get Look at that beautiful blue line. It's got like teal eyeliner. Look at that, guys. Ooh, trendy. These are pretty, beautiful fish. <laughs> All right, we'll let them go. All right, bud. Look at all the little bait fish following. So I wonder if that's been biting or if it's the things that are dying. Uh, I, I think that is what. Oh, I'm sorry, Crane. Were you hungry? All right. So we are on the board, guys. Like I said, this uh, setup is literally really easy to use. It's just, like I said, it's just basically a giant drop shot. And honestly, guys, it it catches fish. See, someone just jumped over there again. It catches fish. We got fish hopping all around us. And, and really, to get into this, guys, it's really not that expensive. I mean, this rod setup that you see only cost us $55 for the reel, $23 for the rod, another $14 for the 20 pound test fluorocarbon, and I think $2 for the actual Pompano rig that came with the hooks. My wife over here just going crazy about the needlefish. Okay. I keep seeing that jump like. Right over there, yeah. I tell you what, guys. You want a happy life? Find a wife that fishes. Because that's just the most beautiful side I've ever seen right there. Her rod even matches her bikini. Okay. That looks like a ladyfish. Might want to try that hair, uh, that hair jig. Maybe. Oh, was that the bird or was that a fish? I don't. I don't know. That that was a big bite though. That was a big bite. It felt like the bird just ran into the line though. Let's see if we can't get back on it. I don't want to go with you, Steve. I don't want to be wet. Yeah, so guys, uh, this saltwater stuff is it's fun, but I'm definitely a bass fisherman through and through. We're down here in Treasure Island. Looks like on a dog beach. And I mean, it's peaceful out here, that's for sure. A little dog playing action. I mean, yeah, I guess that makes this more interesting. Okay. So it feels a little bigger than what we've been catching. I have a feeling it's catfish. And it is a catfish. Dang it. Uh-uh. <laughs> is that is that? Let me see that. Oh, okay. There we go. We're good, bro. 
Go back home. Now that's impressive. Our husky can't be off the leash. He'd be, like, he'd be gone. <laughs> He's old now, so I think. Oh, ours is 14. Yeah, like, yeah, he's still, still an escape artist. Yeah. He, he can open doors and all he kinds of... He does too, but now he just doesn't. He used to get oh. picked up by the city all the time. <laughs> <laughs> well, no. All right, so all you have to do is... All right, so this is a big reel, so if the line starts coming off, so we're going to move this here. Put your finger here. Pop this open. All right, so you're going to hold. I don't think it's just like my fault. I already all right. passed it really good. And all you have to do is use the weight. You, I mean, you cast it the wrong way, but you, maybe when we get old and bass fishing has lost its luster and we want to do deep sea fishing. Yeah. Ben, get your ball. Come here. Oh, you guys have any luck today? Yeah, a little bit. Yeah. I saw that here, yeah, yeah. Just that's all we got here, but we got a couple. I guess they're called croakers. Oh, got you. Yeah. Uh, like off the beach, and then over at uh, what's it called Johnson's Pass or something. Oh, John's like that. Pass. John's River? Pass. Yeah. Yeah, yeah. So yeah, we we've caught a little bit. Yeah. You live? You live on the beach? Like you fish? Around no, 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 no. I'm a bass fisherman, oh, and, and like we were kind of doing this as a joke for yeah. my YouTube channel. Yeah. And uh, I got the same. I got. I got the same. The same rig. Yeah. So uh, it, there's good snook fishing around here for sure, and tarpon too. That that bridge right there. That yeah. Treasure Island. I was there like two nights ago. Just tarpon were dropping like two. Yeah. Yeah, no, I, I I just can't bring myself to stay up that way. I know, dude. I hear you. I hear you. <laughs> <laughs> I'm from Michigan, so bass fish it is. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? I can yeah. first for me too, man. Yeah. Good luck to you guys. Uh, I appreciate it. I got something. All right, reel it in. I'll look at him behind me. Oh, you don't you don't want that, buddy. Okay, I got something. All right, what you got? What you got? Probably a catfish. Raise your hand if you think it's a catfish. <laughs> Even Caroline getting in on the fun. I'm gonna laugh if it's just a weed. It could be a big weed, I guess. Feels big. Oh, oh look, you got a lady. Oh, no, another croaker. <laughs> no, it's a croaker again. <laughs> it just peed. <laughs> Come on. Yeah. I'll hold this hook away so it doesn't get you. Freaking. Guy. Slimy little. Yay. Another little <laughs> slimy. <laughs> Maybe. What time is it? 